So if you're someone who is stuck in your career right now and is contemplating on going for masters or not, then this video is definitely for you. Especially if you're a software engineer or a BTEC student, right? I will break down the realistic options that you have got after your college or maybe if you have some years of experience whether you should go for masters or not and what sort of masters degree would help you in your career so let's get started so my first option is to go for masters in computer science abroad typically in the us canada or europe now please know one thing that you know in canada you don't have a lot of jobs as compared to us and in europe also the situation looks pretty grim because europe is a falling economy however you would find some jobs in germany and the tuition fee is also relatively lesser the cost for going for a master's degree in the US is roughly around 70 to 80 lakhs but again it depends on a multiple factors. These degrees are of two years but if you are going to UK it is a, it is a one year degree and hence your cost to live in UK for one year and pursue your master's will be relatively lesser but I won't recommend you UK for going for a master's in computer science. Now who should do it? Especially I would say people who want to go for research right or let's see if you want to get a PhD in computer science or so there are some specific areas where you want to you know deep dive then master's would be a good option because the research and development India is lagging behind and you should definitely go abroad and pursue your master's degree. And for that, you have to go abroad, first pursue masters, get the degree and then work over there for a few years. Now, let me tell you, there is a recent uh, reverse trend that I've seen uh, happening right in front of my own eyes. A lot of people are coming back to India from US, maybe because of multiple reasons like were like the culture and the ways of living over there if you have money it's better to be there in india than in the us however also let me tell you that most of the cutting wedge work is still done in the us and india has a lot of catch up to do now here is one trick for you i also thought of giving gre and going for masters but then i got into a company called amazon and then i kind of put this idea to bed of going for masters if you want to pursue masters in computer science in tech and you're doing that for the sole intention of getting a job and not a research you can there's other way of doing it without spending so much money you can target this big tech mncs which has their offices in the us and what you can do is you can take an internal transfer after working for few years in india again let me give you an example so if you're at amazon and you have like spent one year as an sd2 you can take that transfer to the us and the company will sponsor the visa and everything will be taken care of. Similarly in Google, if you have spent around 24 months right at any level then you can obviously make the shift and you can transfer internally. Again check it out with your companies that you're currently working at but definitely it's a good hack if you want to go and work abroad. I won't recommend you gate at least for the CS students over here. If you are a non-CS student, you, are, uh, you want to pursue your career in electrical, electronics and any of the core brands, then it's fine because I am not very well equipped to give, any, to give you any information on that. Maybe the, if you want to uh, crack PSU's gate will help. But if you're a core computer science student and, you, and your sole intention is to get a job and, you're, and you feel you're not getting enough opportunities right now, I, I won't recommend you to take the, the gate option because you know, you would pursue a degree at IIT and then the sort of jobs that you get, right? You will probably get placed at Amazon and Google that you can anyway do without, you know, sacrificing your experience, right? Yeah, I do admit that you would get a good alumni network, uh, you know, you would get to study at IIT or something. But still, I mean, again, your call, I wouldn't really recommend you because you see the ROI and the end return is still working uh, with uh, what these companies which you can anyway do without a master's degree. Now after spending years in the software industry I realized that tech skills are crucial but at the same time understanding how to innovate, adapt and lead in a fast changing business environment is, is equally crucial. Now as a software engineer if you're interested in bridging the gap between your technical expertise and business strategy I would recommend the PGDM program at Badruka School of Management BSM in Metchal, Hyderabad It is a full two-year residential program designed to help professionals like us stay ahead of the curve BSM isn't just about mastering business concepts it's about applying them in a tech-driven world The specializations, especially in data analytics and digital technologies are perfect for anyone looking to thrive in today's digital first landscape what really caught my eye is the innovation and entrepreneurship specialization which prepares you to not just follow trends but set them. The 15-day block teaching format ensures focused and immersive learning while the mentorship from industry leaders helps you gain practical insights to complement classroom learning. The serene 14-acre campus complete with residential hostels, a fitness center, meditation areas and an incubation center is the ideal space to grow both personally and professionally. BSM's unique blend of theory, hands-on learning and real-world exposure perfectly aligns with the needs of today's dynamic industries. So if you're ready to take the next step and future-proof your career, the PGDM program at BSM Hyderabad is the way to go.
Admissions are open. Click the link below in the descriptions and start your journey forward to success. Second option is to go for an MBA. If you are someone who want to move to leadership, product or business roles, but are aiming for product management, engineering management or tech consulting, or you're interested in startups, VCs or fintech, then you should definitely consider MBAs. Now let's look at the career options after an MBA. You can go for a product manager role, right? Most PMs come from MBA backgrounds, especially in big tech. Second is tech strategy and consulting. Roles are McKinsey, BCG, Bain, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, etc. Venture capitals and startups. Many founders and VCs are ex-engineers with MBAs. Now let's look at the salaries and ROIs. In top tech companies, you would get a package between 30 to 60 LPA. And the cost to do an MBA is roughly around 20, 30 to 40 lakhs. If you want to do an MBA in India, you have to go for CAT. If you want to do an MBA abroad, you have to go for GMAT. Also, if you want to uh, be closer to tech, MBA can also sometimes help you to get placed as a product manager in big tech companies. Also, MBA might sometimes help you to climb up the engineering corporate ladder. Let's say you want to get into a CEO or a VP or the director position or something. Though it might shift you a bit from tech, but it is definitely an option to ponder. So finally, I would say that go for masters either straight out of college or after having one or two years of experience. Don't uh, delay this pr process a, a lot because what happens is once you start earning, it's very difficult to get out of that uh, of that loop and then again push yourself to go for masters and study hard again. Second thing is if you're a master student and you want to pursue research, go abroad because there's a lot of not a lot of good scene in the India right now. Also, if you want to get into core AI ML roles, then master's degree would help because I've not seen a lot of BTEC software engineers getting hired for AI ML roles. Doing an MBA would also help and it will help you to climb up the corporate ladder much more faster, especially if you're looking to manage people. Take this decision very wisely and choose what's best for you. Having said that, I would end this video over here. If you like this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such engineering insights. And I will see you in the next week.